Pensions are under attack. In both the private and the public sector, pension rights of workers are being attacked. The economic crisis has been used to drive down not only wages, but also benefits such as pensions. One part of the bank bailout agreement between the EU IMF and the Fianna Fáil government was the increase in the state pension age to 66 in 2014, 67 in 2021 and 68 in 2028. This has forced many to avail of job seekers allowance at age 65 under which one criteria includes that you must be looking for work. The National Pensions Reserve Fund was raided during the bailout and the 6.4 billion euro remaining was put into the Ireland Strategic Investment Fund. But some workers are fighting back against the theft of their pensions. On the 22nd of February, the UCU Union of Lecturers in Great Britain and Northern Ireland went on strike to defend their pensions. Changes proposed to pensions could cost the lecturer up to £200,000 in the course of their retirement. In the private sector, many pension schemes have been closed after the economic crisis and speculation decimated funds. In Irish Life, a company which specialises in pension provisions, workers are fighting to retain their defined benefit pensions, which are under attack by management. I met with one of the workers on the picket line. This strike came about because uh, the Irish Life uh, uh, management have decided that they want to close our defined benefit co contribution scheme and change it to an inferior uh, pension scheme. Um, so they have uh, accepted that there's only one option as far as they're concerned, their option. Uh, they wouldn't talk to the trade union. Uh, we have alternatives um, and they don't want to hear those alternatives. So the scheme is in very good shape. It doesn't need to be fixed at all. There's 240 million uh, surplus in the scheme. Uh, and we want to simply hold on to what we, what we have. We're not looking for anything extra. We have a good scheme and uh, we're, we're, we're looking forward to that scheme paying us um, a guaranteed pension at the end of our days, at the end of working uh, to age 65 with Irish life. And can you just tell me what impact it will have for workers? Like how much will work workers lose if yeah. this goes ahead? Yeah, the, we, we, we reckon that workers uh, will lose up to 25% uh, by what Irish life are proposing. Uh, so that's a, a hell of a lot of money for workers these days who are finding it so hard to make ends meet uh, from day to day. So, I mean, even pay increases year to year are 2%. So how can workers uh, bear the brunt of a 35% cut? Uh, they just can't, which means that eventually they, they're uh, living in pensions poverty when it comes to their retirement. And do you think this is part of a kind of larger battle against pensions in general in society? Yeah, I think Irish life are, are very significant because they're the largest pensions player in the, com in, in the country. So if Irish life, uh, who are a profitable company uh, with a good scheme, can do this, then that paves the way for all other companies to, to say the same. So uh, there's absolutely no excuses for them doing this. And as I say, that sets the tone for other, other companies and uh, other workers to lose out in, uh, throughout the country. There's about 60 billion uh, assets of um, the fine benefit pension scheme is out there. And uh, that is all under risk if Irish Life succeeds here today. Uh, and so, just, so. just tell me, if a worker found themselves in the same situation as you, what would you say to them? Well, if, if, if I would say resist, uh, you defend your defined benefit pension scheme, uh, you, 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 you work uh, 40 years for a company, uh, when you join a company they give you this proposal that you will get a, a guaranteed pension when you finish and somehow these companies now, uh, for no reason at all, decide they want to change their goalposts. That's not acceptable, so union members and members of pension schemes need to stand up and defend their rights.